welcome to the Guitarist's Guru series. We'll be looking at the basics today, so understanding the basics of your guitar, the, the names of the certain areas of the guitar, and also just the, the basics of, of the strings and the string names as well. So let's get going. So first of all, um, your guitar. Okay, now different types of guitar. This is an electric guitar, but obviously we have an acoustic a guitar, which is either a steel string, predominantly a steel strung guitar, or a classical guitar, which is a nylon strung guitar. Now, I get asked a lot, obviously as a teacher, what's the best guitar to, to start off with? Difficult to tell. Price is obviously an issue. Nowadays you can pick up a guitar, guitar next to nothing. But the problem with that is sometimes if you buy cheaper end guitars, they're not that easy to play. So I always say, go for what you can afford. If you can afford a couple of hundred pounds on a guitar, go for that. But also, go into a shop and try them. It's very easy to buy online now, but I'd always recommend maybe trying them out first. It doesn't matter if you've never played guitar before, just go into a shop and ask them. And ask them just to kind of, can I just sit down with the guitar? Can I just feel it and see how it, how it fits with you? They all have different weights, different, different sizes, and Playing a, an instrument, a musical instrument, is definitely a personal choice, and I always recommend trying it out first and, and you know, spending a little bit of time just getting used to it. But when you do, and when you've kind of got your, your weapon of choice, then you need to understand how it works and what it does. So this is just a quick overview of, we're going to look at electric guitar here, first of all, but the, we, we name different parts of the guitar. So this area here, fairly straightforward really, is the body. If I hold it up like that, you can kind of get more of a feel of, of how this works. But this is your body, this is your neck, and this is your headstock, or um, you know, I would call it the head, really. That, that's, that's, there's different ways and different terms on, on, on that side of things. So that's your, that's your main component of your, your guitar. Looking at the front of here, the front of your neck is what we call the fretboard. Okay, and this is our kind of workspace, this is our work area. The fretboard is very much like a keyboard or a piano, and with the, obviously without the black and white notes. But it does the same thing, and we'll get into a bit more detail about those a little bit later. Um, so on our fretboard here, we have these metal bits here, which are called frets. Now, uh, we have two types of frets here. We have the frets that we avoid, i.e. the metal parts here, and we have the frets that we put our fingers on or technically the fret, right? So these are our metal parts here, which are what we call the frets, uh, but the gaps, the areas where we actually work and we put our, our fingers in, are called, I, I call them a fret. So when you put our, put our fingers on the fret, all right? Okay, so that's our kind of workspace here. This little white section here is called the nut of the guitar. That becomes a little bit more important uh, the more we get into our chord playing and to understand how we kind of use that as a, in relation to our chords and how the guitar, how we move our chords up and down the guitar, but we'll get into that in a little bit of a later stage. So we have our, our nut here, so we've got our frets, and we have our fret in the gap here. These marker dots, these little dots here, well, these are quite important because a, that shows us exactly where we are on the guitar. Musically, it doesn't have any reference, uh, i.e. it doesn't indicate a specific note, but what it does do, it just gives us a bit of a grounding, especially when you're, because of your, your sighting here, when you're looking at the guitar, especially if you're standing up, you're kind of looking above, so your reference is sometimes, unless you know your notes really well, it's knowing exactly, okay, well, that's the third fret, that's the fifth fret, seventh, ninth, and twelfth, okay? But also on here, on some guitars they do, but you'll have dots above here as well on the corresponding frets. So we actually number our frets as well as we play. Now we'll get into kind of understanding how to play it and using the correct fingering for that. But a quick reference is when you play a string, not worried about the name of the string at the moment, but if I just play the string here on its own, it's what we call playing the open string. Okay, i.e. we're not using, I'm right-handed, we're not using my left hand at all. So our fretting hand is what we call it. So it's open string. 
Okay. If I go up to the first fret, it's called the first fret. Second fret, third fret, fourth fret, and so on. Okay. Right. Not worried about the notes I'm playing at the moment, we'll get on to that. But it's important to know the notes of each open string. So, on a piano, I use piano quite a lot to indicate kind of musical octaves and the musical scales, but if we start very low on the left hand side of a piano, we're playing the low notes, the bass notes. If we go to the right hand side, we're playing the high notes. On a guitar, we go from low, i.e. the top of the guitar here, to high, which is at the bottom of the guitar. So for example, this note here is called our low E. Okay. When I'm playing it like that, it's just called the open E. Okay. Next st string down, or technically up, it, it can get slightly confusing because our low E is classed as the sixth. Uh, string on our guitar. The next string down our guitar is the A and that's the fifth string. Next one is the D and that's the fourth. Go down one more, we go to the G, third. Down again to a B, and that's a second, and then we get to the high E. So we have two E strings on the guitar. We have a high E and a low E. Now the high E is number one. Okay, so it typically goes from from bottom to top in one, two, three, four, five, six. get used to those and it's good to kind of learn those because uh, they are your staple parts of the guitar um, it gets much more advanced if you really wanted it to but everything starts if you're learning guitar with those basic open strings okay now I'm gonna look at the fretting hand a second here now when we're playing we, we obviously want to make some some different sounds so we could just play the open strings like that which is great that's fine but actually you can't do much with that unless you're combining it with some other notes. Now, musically, when we play an open E string, for example, we do it like that. Okay. That's great, that gives me an E, but in music, we need to understand maybe what the, the, the series of notes, and this will come later, but just so we wanna get some variety of sounds, some different pitches of notes, we need to play some frets. So the way we do that is by using our fretting hand, our left hand, if you're a right-handed guitarist, and vice versa, if you're a left-handed guitarist. Now, I'm gonna number my fingers to make it easy, and the way I, I teach is, is try to keep things as simple as possible. So the way I look at it is one, two, three, four. Five is your thumb. If you wanna get a bit flash with that, that happens a bit later, you can use your thumb, but technically we're just gonna use one, two, three, and four. But we're going to start off with our first finger, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to just put my hand, and all I'm going to do is lay my thumb, just sit it on top of the guitar here, so it kind of hooks it over, and you get kind of a, a little arch around here. You can see how that's kind of moving around. Right, so I'm using my thumb as a bit of a pivot, or it's also a stability factor on there, just kind of wave it around there. Now, when I, when I do this, it can, I'm going to just use my first finger here, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to put my first finger now on our open E string, which is our sixth string, okay? But I'm going to put it on fret number one. Let's say we number this by the, the area, so one, two, three, four, five, and so on. So if I put my first finger on that string, now this is an electric guitar, so it's actually a little bit easier to press into the strings. The strings are a little bit lighter than maybe an acoustic strung guitar, a steel strung guitar. But that becomes something you get used to. So it's just getting used to your fingers 
pressing into the bits of wire, basically. They will get a little bit sore, and the best way to approach this is by little and often, okay? You will, you will get sore fingers, that's without a question of a doubt. Um, you just gotta ride it, and it will dissipate as the more you play. But initially, little and often, five minutes, five minutes on, doing your little techniques as we, we learn this, take a bit of time off and come back to it. Great way of learning as well is just bite size, bite size playing. Okay, so I'm gonna put my roll my thumb, get my thumbs nice and comfortable on there, just at, at the back of the guitar, you can do it that way as well. You can have a bit, a bit low here. You don't want to go too low because otherwise you're not gonna feel comfortable. But just the wrist area here is, is pretty good. First finger, all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna imagine my fingers are on tiptoes now. So I'm gonna play it like this, and my finger is actually on the tiptoe. So I'm gonna press it in to that fret. Here, so fret number one on the low E string. Push it in. We just played an F note. Now, if I take my finger off and play the open string, and then put it back on again, you can hear now we're starting to obviously create different pitches of sound. Now, finger-wise, I always say that imagine your fingers are on tiptoes. Okay, so if you're tiptoeing with your fingers, that's the way you press into the strings. If you go too flat, i.e. just go like that, and you kind of push your fingers down like that, you're fine. You're not getting much push or much bite onto that string. That string has to go down and touch, ideally touch the wood part of the fret underneath. Okay. Now if I move up to fret number two and do the same thing again, the guitar to get used to it as well. So once you've done that, I don't know if you've noticed, but my finger tends to stay within a certain area of each fret. Now there's a sweet spot for your for your frets. If I was to put my finger here, for example, on this part of the fret, if I go a bit closer you can see where well, I'm talking see it on here, I put my finger there at that part of the fret. Same there, it's a sweeter spot, sweeter sound, okay? If I move it back there, it doesn't work. It doesn't work as well anyway. And so actually, you don't actually have to put a lot of pressure onto those fingers to produce that sound. I'm not pressing very hard here, uh, and, and that's something you get used to. Um, you just need to be confident with it. Just push down a bit of confidence, it doesn't have to press too hard. Difficult to explain, easier to practice in your own time to do that. Right? So, get used to doing that. Once you're happy with that, why don't you try your second finger? So, doing the same thing again. Just walking up. Walking up the guitar like that. Third finger. my fingers have got little lines on, you'll have fingers that, you, you'll, your fingers will get lines on, don't worry about it, um, you'll get through all that, it's, it's fine, you just need to keep persevering with it. So just to slightly recap, so you've looked at your open strings, so we've looked at the names of our open strings, we've got A, we've got, uh, sorry, sorry, well, that's rubbish, we've got E, we've got A, we've got D, we've got G, we've got B, and we've got the high E, okay, and we've got our frets, here as we go on. Now just one final point on this session. We've got these dots, these marker dots, okay? So we've got them at the third fret, the fifth, the seventh, the ninth, and the twelfth. Right, when you get to the twelfth fret, most guitars will have two dots. And what this signifies is that we played what we call um, the whole scale, the twelve note scale. In music, there are 12 notes. And those 12 notes just repeat themselves and repeat themselves, okay? So, if I, for example, play the open E string here, 
and then I go up to my 12th fret and play 12th fret. I'm also playing an E. So we've actually gone all the way through our musical scale from E to E. Okay, and it's the same on each string. So A string, A. gives you a basic view. One more thing, just before I forget this one, uh, these little bits here, these are called your machine heads or your tuning keys. This is for tuning your guitar. First and foremost, the most fundamental part of your guitar playing is making sure your guitar's in tune. If you have any problems with that, um, pop back into the shop or, or wherever you purchased your guitar and just have a word with them and say about getting a guitar tuner. Very simple thing, you can get a little tuner that clips onto the end of your guitar and all you do is you play the string and it will tell you if your guitar string is in tune. If it's not, then you tighten these or loosen these depending on if you're below the note that you need to get to or above the note. But we'll do a bit more work on that in, in future sessions. I hope that helps and uh, I'll see you on the next, the next session.